Hi guys, Mardik here. Thank you for joining me. Today's tutorial is going to cover the nose button knot. More specifically, the herringbone style for the nose button knot. This knot is very versatile and special for many reasons. First off, it is a nice looking decorative knot, commonly associated with making a bozal. It is a multi-strand knot, which can be adjusted for length as well as width. So with that said, let's tie one. I'm going to demonstrate the tying process on an object one inch in diameter. For this diameter, six pieces of gutted paracord are going to be enough. These cords are three feet long each. Just before the middle point of your cords, attach them onto your mandrel. So simply tie them down. Spread the part your cords around your object. So something like this. Wrap around your ends, around your object, like this. Secure them on the other side of the knot as well. So again, tie down your ends. Spread the part your cords on this side as well. So something like this. We start our tying process on the right. You take a cord, you pass under the next cord, then over, under over, under over, reaching about the middle point of your knot. You take the next cord and repeat. So under your next cord, then over, under over, under over, reaching the middle point of your knot again. Do the same thing with the remaining strands. Remove your strands off back to the right side to keep them out of the way. We continue on the left, 
taking a strand, passing over our next strand, then under, over, under, over, and under. So like this. Over under, over under, over under. Your under should come under the same strand where our chord from the right is coming under. So our two ends meet here. This is the correct sequence. You take your next strand. So this one, again, over, under, over, under, over, and under. Again, going under a strand, the same strand which the chord from the right is going under as well. You take your next strand and repeat. So over under, over under, over under. Do the same thing with the remaining strands. So we now have pairs of strands traveling one next to the other. We take the strand coming from the left and we double up the strand coming from the right. Like this. The strand from the right doubles up the strand from the left. Like this. The next pair exactly the same way. The strand from the left doubles up the strand from the right. The strand from the right doubles up the strand from the left. Do the same thing with the remaining strands. Now for our final step. We take a strand on the right. Since we pass under when we exit, we also re-enter with an under. So under to Over to, under to, over to, and under to. Reaching about the middle point of our knot. You take the next strand. So, let's say, this one here. Again, we exit under, 
so we re-entered under as well. So under to, over to, under to, over to, under to, reaching the middle point of our knot again. Do the same thing with the remaining strands. So, once you've done your knot on the right, move your strands out of the way, and we start on the left. On the left, we take a strand, since we exit with an over, we re-enter with an over as well. So, over to, under to, Over to under to, over to under to, reaching a strand from the diet. Take the next strand and to repeat. So we exit over, we re enter over as well. So over to, under to, Over to, under to, over to, under to, again reaching a strand from the right. Repeat with the remaining strand. If you've done your knot correctly, your ends meet here at the center. We're now going to tighten up our knot from this to this. We continue by tightening up our knot. First, we remove the two pieces of thread. One on each side. Pull on all of your ends. And you can see quite a bit of slack in your knot. So simply start somewhere, go through the knot, and into one of your ends. 
Then simply take the next loose strand and repeat. Do this with all of your strands until you get a nice looking tight knot. After tightening up your knot, tension your ends and cut them off. Roll your knot under a plank. Like this. There you have it guys. A herringbone style nose button knot. Thank you very much for joining me today, consider supporting the site on Patreon and I'll see you next time.